Hello everyone and welcome to a Create with Kylie art tutorial video. In this video we will be exploring how you can create visual texture using illustration pens. If you want to say thanks, click that like button and subscribe to my channel. Now let's be creative! We have got three different artistic techniques, hatching, cross-hatching, and stippling, which are a variety of different types of line used correctly. We can get a sense of value, a darkness or lightness of a tone by either condensing our marks or dispersing them like we did here and here. And we can also create the 3D illusion of form on our flat piece of paper by curving our lines and using contour lines. And we can do the same with stippling as well. Texture is an element of design where you create the illusion of um, how something would feel if you imagined touching it. Trying to create that illusion of fur, feather, scales, all that sort of stuff is quite a skill to develop. I've lightly drawn six circles to use as a base drawing to put texture on to uh, work off of just to give me some guidelines as where to go with this. Um, for all of these six uh, spheres, we're going to imagine that the light source is coming from our little line picture here. This is going to be the the light shining down on here. So all of the highlights will be on the top right hand side of the spheres and all of the shadows will be on the bottom left hand side of the spheres. So we're going to use our imagination a little bit. Let's start with shading this circle with curved hatching and cross hatching lines. The goal is to create the illusion of 3D form by having highlights and shadows. For this activity, let's imagine that the light source is coming from the upper right hand corner of the page. This will cause all the shadows to be on the left side of these drawings. Next, we'll draw fur. Since we're focusing on animal textures, let's be creative and add faces. With fur, it's important to not draw a solid outline. That's why we have penciled underdrawings as our base. Your pen stroke should mimic the direction of the fur growth and its length. Try adding shadows and highlights to the sections of fur for more realism. Let's draw reptilian skin next, and we'll just draw a lizard's head because it already has a variety of textures. In general, reptilian skin follows a grid-like pattern that radiates out from the eye. The grid line should follow the contours of the flesh, and your mark making should be broken and not solid lines. On the top, try giving the lizard a hard armored skin, while on the neck, go for softer folds of scaly flesh. Each bump and fold should be shaded according to the light source. Fish scales are up next. Scales grow back from the head and point towards the tail. They follow the curved form of the fish's body. Add more curved hatching and cross hatching lines as shadows on top of the scales to further emphasize and create that sense of 3D form. Using thicker lines around some random scales and maybe the fin and gills will make them stand out from the main body. Birds offer a wide variety of visual textures, from their smooth beaks to their scaly legs and all their different types of feathers. They can be a fun challenge to draw. For just about every drawing you do, having a visual reference to study from is key to improving your drawing skills.
For the last texture, find visual references of animals with exoskeletons, like lobsters, crabs, and shrimp. Or you could look at insects, like beetles, ants, or grasshoppers. The animal world has an endless amount of inspiring visual textures. As you become more proficient in capturing them, the more creative you can be with your drawings. And there you have it, a visual texture exercise using illustration pens. I hope you enjoyed this video, and remember my friends, be awesome and stay creative. Until next time.